Good morning, Spirit and Life Church. Today, November 16th, we are going to look at the scripture, Romans, the 12th chapter, the 12th verse. And it reads, rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer. And the good news is we never, whenever we need something, we need to celebrate, cool down, ask for help, and we should turn to prayer. It's our way of communicating with God. And remember, he's always ready to listen. And be patient in tribulation. Even during trying times, we must be patient. But when we think about being patient, remember how God has been so patient with us. Look at all of our years, look throughout our lives, how God has been patient with us as we've formed our faith, our spiritual formation, turned from those things that God is not pleased with. Remember how God has been so patient with us. And when we think about all the times that God has been patient with us, let us pause and say, we too can be patient. Be patient in tribulations. So when there are challenges in our life, there are upheavals, there are things that are happen that really cause us to be turned around and be upset and not be the person that we feel we should be. Patience as we think about how God is patient with us. You may have to take time away from whatever you're doing, take time out of the situation, take time out of the conflict and let yourself regroup so you can begin again. You may have to apologize. You may have to say, I prayed about it and this is my new thought. But find a way, even in the middle of a conflict, in the middle of a tribulation, to change how you respond, to change how you react. Ask God to give you the strength to be able to do that. We don't have the strength to do it on our own, but we must rely on Jesus Christ to give us that strength. Patience, patience and tribulation. We know this said in our world today, there's road rage, there are people shouting at each other unnecessarily. Let us take ourselves away from those conflicts and look at those conflicts with our spiritual eyes and say, how would God want me to respond? What would Jesus do? And let us follow that path instead of the path of least resistance, which is to be frustrated, angry, and react in a way that we are not proud of, ultimately. Rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, and always in prayer. One of the things that I recognize is that when we look at the statistics and they talk about how Christians are least likely to read their Bible and to pray. That's a terrible thing for us to hear about believers. Not regular prayer time and not reading our scriptures. And those are the tools. Those are the tools that we use in our spiritual battles. We've never heard of a soldier going to war without his tools, without his weapons to fight against the enemy. So as believers, we have to fight against the enemy using our tools, our tools of prayer, meditation, relying on God, speaking with God, saying, God, how can I do this? I've tried so many times in so many ways, and I seem like it's failing. Lord, give me some new ideas in how I can be patient with others, as you have been patient with me, as God has been patient with us. He's forever patient. And when we want to see a model of patient, look at how God has been patient with us. He hasn't punished us for the things that we've done. 
he gives us a time and time again. He gives us new chances. And the scripture says, morning by morning, new mercies we see. We always have a new start every day to do things differently. And so the scripture says, be patient in tribulation. And we know in these days, we're going to see a lot of tribulation. Things are not going to always be easy. They're not going to always be a quick remedy or a quick solution. So we have to find methodical ways to be patient in tribulation. Take yourself out of the situation, pray, meditate, regroup before you re-enter into the situation. And when you're praying, ask God to help you in those regards, in the places where you're weak, in the places where you have fallen, in the places where you feel like you have failed. God will restore you and you'll be pleasantly surprised that all of a sudden you have a new skill to be able to be more patient. So this month, patience and patience is a virtue and it shows our Christian maturity and it shows our care for one another when one another when we're patient with them. So let's be patient one with another and let's rely wholly on God to give us the patience that we need to be able to work with other people. Remember in the church, our business is the business of people and relationships. And may we be patient as we work in our ministries, be patient as we work in the community, be patient as we communicate with others, that they recognize that Jesus Christ is within us and it's showing through how we can be patient with one another. Being patient in tribulation, that's a specific challenge that we all have to address in our lives. So this day, pray about patience and you'll be surprised how God gives you new ways to function in tribulation and in challenges by giving you more patience. God bless you.